The Bills had a big victory yesterday, 38-3 to over the Pittsburgh Steelers as they beat them soundly. And almost every player with the Bills had a great game. But first, before the game, I was able to get Shaq Lawson to come over and sign this picture for me. So that gives me now 34 of the current Buffalo Bills. Photo autographs. Shaq was really nice. He stayed over there for a little bit to sign autographs for a few other people as well. Glad to have Shaq back on the team where he belongs in Buffalo. Reggie Gilliam also came over. I already had Reggie's picture, but I wanted him to sign this picture of him scoring his touchdown in, uh, against the Titans earlier this year, the last home game. I asked Reggie why the Bills don't play sledgehammer for him when he scores a touchdown. He said that he didn't know, but he didn't think the Bills even knew that that was his nickname. So um, hopefully the Bills might be able to do that because he said he thought that would be cool if they did. Um, Reggie is a really nice guy, and I can see why all the Buffalo Bills players love having him on the team, and he brings a lot of versatility to the team as well. And then we got this new Von Miller jersey, and Von came over and signed it. He, he We've actually owned this jersey for like a day. And already Vaughn came over and signed the jersey for us. And we love having Vaughn Miller on the team because obviously he offers a lot to the Buffalo Bills team. Beyond his pass rush and his leadership and everything he's giving off the field. It's just he's turned the defense into what was a good defense into a really great defense now for the Bills team. Number one in the league. I believe, well, at least in my opinion. So um, as far as the game, again, it was a trouncing. I think the only Bills player might have had a little bit of a hard game was right on the very first kickoff, um, Taiwan Jones fumbled it around a little bit. He did recover, but started the drive at the two-yard line, which I had a Steelers fan sitting behind me that wanted to make sure I saw that, that I saw that, she said over and over again. So karma came around a couple plays later. 98-yard touchdown pass from Josh Allen to Gabriel Davis. And yes, I turned around to make sure that she saw that play. <laughs> it was really all the scoring the Bills needed. Because the defense held them to three points for the whole game. And the best part of the game for me was that new Buffalo Bills players, I mean, guys that weren't on the roster officially last year, all had some big plays in the game, including Cook with a touchdown run, including Shakir with nice punt returns, kick returns, and um, a touchdown, and a beautiful catch where he really got height over three defenders as well. So I think he might be adding a new element to the team as maybe a third receiver, as McKenzie was out of the game with a concussion, but... Shakir brings us some nice uh, new things at the slot that hopefully we can take advantage of, of him as Crowder broke his ankle, so he's not going to be playing either uh, right away. So, great game by them. Also, I thought that um, Morris had a great game. He did fumble at the one-yard line. As a matter of fact, the Bills had two turnovers in the end zone that resulted in touchbacks, and they still scored 38 points in the game. So, really was a blowout in a dominant, dominant fashion for the Buffalo Bills. I do think that Kenny Pickett, the quarterback of Pittsburgh, did shine a little bit and showed that he has skill, especially when rolling out, which they did uh, roll out the pocket a few times during the game to um, try to give him some protection from the Bills' pass rush. Um, other things that happened during the game... Nice um, Dotson coming in to the game for Edmonds. I thought he played really well. As they, they did look like they were trying to attack Dotson, which would be a good game plan of him coming in to replace Edmonds. But he showed that he can hold his own in the NFL. And 
the Bills defense overall just played a solid, solid game. Obviously, Gabriel Davis had a big game with two long touchdown passes. Um, Stefan Diggs had a nice game as well. And um, hopefully they worked on the running game a little bit and we can work on that short yardage. That longest yard thing is um, one of the Bills' Achilles heel at the moment, trying to get that one yard at the goal line. And, uh, you know, they tried a different thing this week. It almost worked, but that's one thing they, that they could work on a little bit. But overall, how can you complain? How can you complain when you beat the Steelers 38-3? to I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing out a few things maybe they could work on. But holy cow, the things that they're doing well are beyond a Bills team we've seen um, for a long time. This team really has a really, really good football team. Looking forward to seeing what they do against the Kansas City Chiefs next week. But most importantly, always, always remember, God loves you. And so do I!